Hello people, in this video we want to look at what Cassoni's test is, okay? Basically this is a skin test and it is used for the diagnosis of hydatid disease. Hydatid disease is caused by a cestode, that is a helminth, it is a echinococcus granulosis, okay? So we could, uh, this is a cestode helminth, it is echinococcus granulosis, it causes this hydatid disease, right? And uh, Basically, this is the adult worm, this is the egg and this is the hydatid cyst. The larva is inside the hydatid cyst. So basically, this affects a dog and sheep, hence it is called as dog tapeworm. So this is the hydatid cyst which can be in the larva, in the liver, etc. So the hydatid disease is diagnosed by Cassoni's test. It is a skin test, okay? So, Cassoni's uh, intradermal test, it is an immediate hypersensitivity. That is, it's a type 1 reaction. Remember, it's type 1 reaction. A lot of things you have seen till now, like Lepromin test or uh, Mantor test, they are type 4, they are delayed hypersensitivity. However, Cassoni's intradermal, intradermal test is type 1 hypersensitivity, remember. Okay? It was introduced by Cassoni in 911. Basically, what is injected here? Antigen is injected, okay, the antigen, how did they take it? From the hydrated fluid, which is collected from the unilocular cyst from dog or man. Basically, the sterilization is done for this hydrated fluid. It is sterilized by filtration. The antigen is collected and uh, it is going to be injected, okay. So, there is a given here that it is sterilized by seeds or membrane filtration. So, filtration is the sterilization technique here. So what they do, they collect this from the hydatid cyst, they collect this hydatid fluid, the antigen which is purified now, it is sterilized by uh, filtration and it is injected intradermally. So you know just 0.2 ml is taken and injected intradermally, you know how to give an intradermal injection, right? At an angle 10 to 15 degree, just raise a small bleb into the epidermis and give this injection, okay? A very little volume is injected. Now into the other arm they are going to inject saline, okay. Into the first one they are injecting the antigen, in this other arm they are injecting the saline, okay. Now a positive reaction means the sensitive patient is sensitive to hydatid disease. So basically a large wheel, just imagine a large wheel of 5 cm in diameter will develop with pseudopodia like projections appearing within half an hour, half an hour because this is a immediate sensitivity reaction, type 1 sensitivity reaction and it fades in about an hour. So it comes within half an hour and it re, uh, it goes away within an hour, okay. A secondary reaction can occur uh, consisting of edema and induration and it will appear after 8 hours, okay. So basically this indicates the sensitivity of the patient to hydatid disease. This is not used anymore, Cassoni's test. Guys, we are studying Cassoni's test. Cassoni's test is not used anymore because there can be false positives with sick histosomiasis and other conditions, okay? So this test is almost abandoned now because it is not specific and it has been supplemented by better tests like serology, etc. So guys, this was uh, Cassoni's test. So it is a skin test. It's an intradermal test uh, used for the diagnosis of hydatid disease which is caused by echinococcus granulosis. It is a cestode helmin. Its common name is dog tapeworm. And um, uh, Cassoni's intradermal test is uh, showing high type 1 immediate hypersensitivity. Okay, This is a type 1 hypersensitivity reaction. So you are collecting the hydatid fluid from the cyst which is from a dog or a man and then you are going to sterilize it by filtration with a seeds or a membrane filter. Then you will collect this antigen, this is a purified antigen, this is a sterile antigen which is going to be injected intradermally, just 0.2 ml, just raise a bleb. 10 to 15 degree angle into the epidermis, inject this fluid, okay? And into the other hand, just as a control, you inject saline, okay? Now you will see a positive, uh, if you see a positive wheel, large wheel, about 5 centimeter, just imagine in your finger, just count 5 centimeter, 5 centimeter diameter, such a large wheel will uh, come. It will have multiple pseudopodia like projections within half an hour it will come and it will go away after one hour. Secondary reaction can be there after 8 hours, you can see some edema and induration in this place. This indicates sensitivity of the patient to high directed disease. This gives a lot of false positive with uh, sick histosomiasis, hence uh, it is not used now. It is abandoned and uh, mainly Cassoni's, uh, Cassoni's test is not used 
It is replaced with the serological test for diagnosis. That's all guys. That was about Cassoni's test. That's all. Remember when you say Cassoni's test, you have to remember Hydatid disease. Okay.